Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I built a rotating jig for building motorbike frames. In the past I always just threw something crude together with scraps, but since I have a few more bike builds planned, I decided it would be better to build something proper and permanent that I can use for different bike designs. This jig is similar to others that you might have used or seen online. I almost didn't make a video about this because it's pretty straightforward and there are fixture kits available to buy for putting your own jig together. But they can cost three to four hundred dollars or more depending on the kit you want and you still have to supply your own tubing. So I figure there might be a few of you out there who are like me and prefer to save a bit of money by spending a day building something simpler from scratch that's just as effective. I made almost everything using 11 gauge two and a half inch square steel tubing just because that's what I had in the workshop. At a length of 6 feet, it's around 5 times stronger than the entire weight of a motorcycle with the load focused in the center of the tube, so it's plenty strong enough for the job. A lot of the jigs that I've seen just fasten to a workbench or saw horses. Some sit on the floor and have adjustable legs too. I'm constantly moving tools and projects around in the shop so I installed some old 10 inch trolley wheels with plastic bushings and a half inch axle to one end of the jig base and a handle and legs to the other end. After the base was built, I started on the spindle by cutting out the quarter inch thick by eight inch diameter locking plate that helps lock the spindle after rotating it to position.
The spindle itself is made by welding 10.5 inch long 1 by 3 inch tubing to the ends of a piece of 2.5 inch square tubing. A cap drilled and tapped holes in each end to receive the half inch bolts that the spindle will hinge on. I say hinge because the spindle is offset by 8 inches to keep the chassis at around tabletop height for working on when it's in an upright position and to keep the chassis from hitting the floor or the bottom of the jig when it's spun upside down. I made various fixtures for holding and clamping the chassis components like the head tube and swing arm using more 2.5 inch square tubing and 1 8 inch thick steel plates. The plates are drilled and positioned on the tubing so that the side of the bolts will hug the spindle and hold the fixture tight in a vertical position and clamp the sides of the spindle to hold the fixture's horizontal position when the nuts are tightened, but they don't need to be tightened very much. A little does a lot in this case. Most of the fixtures are adjustable for different bikes, but I made one specifically for the next bike that I'm building, which is going to clamp to a 1 inch DOM cross member at the bottom of the frame instead of a couple of bottom rails like a lot of street bikes and dirt bikes have. I made the clamp by splitting a piece of 1 and a quarter inch DOM tubing and welding one piece directly to the fixture and added a tab with a hole to the other piece which bolts down over the cross member to lock it to the fixture. The head tube fixture is a combination of two fixtures. One is a long post that clamps to the spindle and the other clamps to the post and has a swivel attachment with a long threaded rod to receive the head tube and position it at any height or angle. The swing arm fixture is similar to the head tube fixture minus the swivel attachment. I made the swivel attachment by bending a piece of 1 8 inch thick steel on my homemade metal brake. I put a link for that build in the video description in case you want to see it. After the fixtures were made, I threw some orange Alice Chalmers tractor paint on everything and reassembled. I also 3D printed some end caps for the tubing while the paint was drying.
Aside from being a little short, the jig turned out pretty nice. This should help speed up and make future builds a lot easier. That's it for now, folks. I'm starting the new bike build tomorrow, and we'll keep you updated on the progress in future videos. Take care.